Hey ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today is yet another tutorial of this makeup look that I got a lot of requests to do a tutorial for. You get some gold bronzes, um, that nice maroon. I'm using a lot of ColourPop today. So if you want to learn how to get this look right here, then just keep on watching. So like usual, I'm starting, I've already applied my um, Essence Eye Heart Stage Eye Primer and um, set it with that cream shade and then I'm taking that that transition color naked to and just putting that in the crease generally not being really like precise and then I'm taking color pops um, get lucky eyeshadow and I'm mostly placing that on the like middle third of the eye and leaving the corners blank which we're gonna take color pop sequin and I'm gonna apply that to the inner and outer thirds of the eyes. And I just find that my fingers, using them to apply the eyeshadows, is gives them the most intensity. And then I'm just kind of blending the edges out a little bit. Now I'm taking ColourPop's Porter and I'm sorry that this is out of focus, but I think I fixed that issue. Um, I'm just taking that small brush that I use every single time I do my makeup. I'm applying that in the um, outer V area and directly into the crease just to get the color placement. I'm just kind of blending out the edges so that they're not too harsh but I don't want to blend it up too far. Taking ColourPop Flutes and I'm applying that right over the like over the at the edge of Porter um, kind of right above the crease to give it a nice wash of color and I'm just kind of touching up that with the lid colors and now I'm taking Foxy from that Naked Basics palette and just applying that around you know the inner area and the brow bone just to blend out the edges. Now I'm taking Plum from the Little Rock Pro 2 palette with a flat liner brush and I'm just lining my lower lash line with that. I'm just kind of placing it at the moment. And now I'm taking that small brush I use all the time and blending that out so it's a little more smoky. Now I'm taking just my Wet n Wild Liquid Liner, amazing stuff, and doing a nice sharp wing. I just think a dramatic wing looks a lot more it just looks better with this particular look. I find that the smaller wing just it just doesn't look as good to me. But rock what you want, girl. I'm just lining my waterline and my tight line with a black cream liner. Curling those lashes. And I forgot I wanted to take Venus from the Naked Basics palette and apply that in the inner corners and just a smidge on the high point of the brow bone. I'm taking Benefit Their Real Mascara and applying that to my lashes. And this is just my usual Maybelline Definer Lash for the lower lash line, or the lower lashes, I mean. Now I'm taking these beautiful wispy lashes from eBay and my Broadway Dark Glue, and I'm just going to put those on. And 
And then I'm putting my Benefit Their Real Mascara on top just to make them stand out more. Now I'm taking this beautiful Pixie Duo. I'm just using that golden highlight side and I'm going to highlight cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, and the cupid's bow. This is a gorgeous highlight. And I'm taking Milani um, Romantic Rose blush and I'm putting that on with my Real Techniques blush brush. And then I'm just going to line my lips with Max Stone lip liner. I adore this lip liner. It just is so versatile. And now I'm taking the beautiful Colourpop Tansy and I'm just applying that to my lips like you would any other lip color. <laughs> And we are done. I also wanted to mention that I for totally forgot to add Busted from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette to the Outer V Increase to add more depth. Um, it's just like a shimmery chocolate brown shade, and this is what a step that I took when I initially came up with this look. But um, I just wanted to mention that you can do this if you want to add a little more drama to this look. Um, it's obviously optional, but I did want to mention that. And this is the finished look. I hope that was easy to follow along with and helpful, and I would love, love, love to see you um, recreate this and share a picture of it with me. I know it would look gorgeous on a lot of you ladies out there too. Please give it a try, and you don't have to use the exact same eyeshadows I did, just use what you have that's close to the colors. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and hang out with me today and I hope that you are having a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you are and please don't forget to subscribe. It would make my day. See you all in my next video. Bye.